good morning. I'm uh, about to embark upon making another one of these U.S. shaped flags for a fundraiser. <clears throat> and I thought, well, I'll go ahead and video how I treat the boards. So, again, you have to be careful when you're using fire. You don't let the board get too hot, but you want it just hot enough so that you get the, the effect you're looking for with the, the flame burning out on the, uh, the grain. You just take it nice and easy and keep the flame moving. And the grain just kind of pops out on you. But again, you don't sit still because if you do, obviously, you're going to set it on fire. Darken that one up a little bit right there. Maybe a little more right here. That'll work. Turn the board over. When you get to these knots, they typically have sap left in them. So you get a little flame, you gotta be careful around those. But they just give it a different texture. So that just kind of gives you an idea of what this flag is going to look like structure wise with the grain and everything. So uh, it's going to be a pretty board. But uh, I'm looking forward to getting this one done too. This one is for uh, another fundraiser, and uh, I'm going to call this one St. Anthony's because this will be for St. Anthony's Catholic Church in Danbury for their bazaar. And uh, so this is the beginning of St. Anthony's.